Hey guys, this is Fresh Anything. We're going to do a video today on the Bafang BBS HD. So let's get into it. A couple of things about the motor and the, the setup before I get going. Um, it's a 1000 watt motor. It's a 14 amp hour 48 volt battery with LG cells in it, which I've got mounted to the frame. Um, I've got upgraded the chain ring to a Lecky bling ring. Uh, I'll show you the original steel ring that it came with before, which was really clunky and heavy and I had a few uh, issues with chain drops and alignment with that one. Um, but basically it's, it's all running smoothly now. Couldn't be happier with it. It's a very nice setup. Um, I've got slicks on it at the moment for commuting, but I did, have, um, I did have Schwab mountain bike tires on it, which I've done a few fire trails and things on it. Um, anyway, um, let's do a walk around and then later on I'll do a, a few road tests and we can talk about um, the power and the setup and the range for battery range and all that sort of stuff. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a shot of this side of the bike so you can see how the motor is uh, mounted in the bottom bracket. Um, so it sits sort of neatly under there. I think it weighs about four and a half kilo, that motor. But, you know, when you've got this much power, it doesn't really matter about weight. Once you get going, it doesn't really matter. So this here is a little sensor that gets fitted and that, um, that looks after your speed and everything from the computer. Um, I've got my uh, XT brakes with Icetech 180mm rotors on there, which do a great job for stopping and you need something pretty decent for stopping um, when you've got so much power on your bike. Um, yeah, as mentioned, I've got the slicks on there for commuting. But um, as you can see over here, these are my go-to mountain bike tires, which are about um, 2.3 wide. And I had them tubeless, but um, just for, for convenience of swapping them over, I'll probably go tubed for a little while. And so I can have these for work and those for going on trails. So what else can I show you? Um, yeah, but this is the battery. So there's a, as mentioned, there's a 14 amp hour battery. Um, and I've just put, it's key locked here, so um, I'll show you that now. Okay, so we're just going to show you that battery and how it um, comes off and on. So you just put your key in here, unlock it, oh that's sorry, that's locked, unlock it, slides up and off the frame like that, uh, and then you can take that with you obviously and charge it in, in your office, in your, at home, or whatever, closer to a PowerPoint. But uh, what I tend to do is just leave it on most of the time. Um, and I'll show you, there's a little charge port on the other side here. When I turn the bike around, you'll be able to see that. Um, I might also just show you here, there's a little, um, once you've got it charged up, there's a little button here. When you press that button, it actually shows you um, that the charge lights that are on there to see how charged it is. Um, so that's a nice little feature. So anyway, I just normally keep that locked and away you go. So let's carry on We're doing a walk around on the bike. Okay, so this is the charger that comes with it. Uh, it takes probably about three hours to fully charge, three and a half hours. Um, you could probably buy more expensive chargers if you want, or you could definitely buy more expensive, quicker chargers, but this is fine for what it does. Um, so what you do is you just plug this uh, plug into this port here, and after you plug it in, these will both go red, showing charging, and then once it goes green, then it's fully charged and you can unplug it, and away you go. Just regarding the range, you probably get about uh, depending how you're using the bike. So if you're in pedal assist, say three or four, you could get up to about 40 Ks out of this um, battery. But if you're using just throttle only, um, which I kind of use most of the time, um, you're probably only gonna get about oh, 18, 18 to 20, 20 Ks. Pro oh, yeah, maybe a bit more, about 20 Ks. Um, so yeah, I tend to use it throttle only, but I only go sort of 14, 15 Ks max at a time. 
Okay, just to show you what came with the um, the BBS HD. This is the original steel. What they call sunflower, I think, on, on some websites. Um, that came with it. Now this is okay. Look, it's it's got a fair bit of torque and quite powerful, um, but it's really clunky. And and to be honest, I felt like it was pretty unsafe. I did snap a chain with this one. Um, the first week I had it and I had some alignment issues where the chain was actually um, popping off and getting stuck down in here. Um, since I've upgraded to this Lecky, I've had no problems at all. The motor actually seems like it's running um, easier up hills and you know, I'm actually getting better, better mileage I think out of it with this one. Um, and overall, it's just the alignment's so much better and it's running better. I can change gears with confidence. I'm not worried about it because, you know, this thing's got a lot of power running onto a, a normal bike chain. The last thing you want is um, to be jumping chains and worrying if, you know, the, the chain's gonna jump off and snap on you. So highly recommend the Lecky bling, bling Ring. So I just wanted to explain to you a couple of things. The brakes have a engine cutoff. Um, now, if you buy the the Tektro Dorado brakes, the e-bike brakes, and they, they come with it inbuilt. But I already had, um, well, I had XT brakes, which are pretty good Shimano brakes. Um, but I had to get this little uh, metal thing there fitted. Um, so it, it's just sort of modified. It's been glued on there, so like a magnet um, set up. And this is sort of stuck on here. Um, so it's, look, it's not, it's a bit, custom but look it does the job really well so what it does is anytime you use your brakes it cuts the the engine or the motor sorry um, which is for a safety thing and, and to be honest that's a pretty good thing to have now the other thing is this gear sensor which I've uh, had fitted I thought I would use that a lot um, in theory it's it's good to have um, so whenever you've got it in pedal assist mode uh, and you go to change gears the load is taken off the, the motor. You can change gears, carry on pedaling, and then um, the the motor will kick back in. But I found it to be a little bit um, slight delay, I guess. In, you still get a bit of a clunk sometimes when you when the power comes back on. So I find it better to just have it in pedal assist zero with throttle only, change the gears when I need to, um, slowly start pedaling without any power on the motor and then give it some throttle once it's safely changed into the right gear that I want. Okay, let's go and see what we've got going on in the cockpit. Um, I've got these Ergons, they're pretty comfortable um, and you're doing, gonna do long rides, I recommend getting something like this. The Bafang came with the C965 display but there's a few different variants I think you can get um, to this. Um, I've, this is the controller also that it comes with uh, and I'll show you a few of the, the functions when we're out on the road doing a test ride. Um, these are lights, these are pretty cool lights I've got. Um, this one's off eBay, it runs off this battery down here. I uh, highly recommend getting something like this um, if you're going to be riding in the night or going into the night, you never know when you'll need it. Uh, I've got a bell on there just, uh, just because. Um, on this side, um, this is a lockout for the shocks, this one here, um, and then this one here is the thumb throttle. Now the, th the throttle that it comes with is more like, more like this actually, it's up and down, and the thumb throttle that I got is, um, is this one, and I got recommended that online, and look, it's got, it's got a lot of control from what I can see by using, I didn't really use the other one, but this one's fantastic, it's, um, it's really sensitive, but at the same time, you can sort of hold your, your speed at the low, low speed and then um, gradually pick up on it. So I think the other one is more power on or power off, um, but this is good. You can sort of hold your speed with this one. Um, this here, look, I've just got this for my, for my phone. I use Strava or, or any of the other apps out there. So yeah, this is handy to put my phone on. I actually turned this around when I got it installed. This um, display was um, mounted um, further down, so this bit here was down covering the stem. But yeah, I've I've 
turned it around so the, the bottom of it is at the bracket and it's, it's further up. So now I've got a bit more room on the stem. Um, moving on, comfortable bike seat. You kind of need that, especially with um, extra weight on the bike. The shocks, the front shocks only do so much. So yeah, it's nice to have a bit of cushioning there. Okay, so when you power up the, the Bafang C965 display, um, you just use this power button here, hold it down, and it will power up. Now, by default, you can see here, it's got PAS1, that's pedal assist mode, and it's got my trip odometer, which I haven't reset from the last time, uh, and it's got my speed and the battery, which is full. Now, you might, um, the first thing you, you might want to do is change the pedal assist mode. And what I do here is, um, it's actually been installed upside down for mine because they had to install it on the right hand side, not the left hand side. Um, anyway, long story short, it's back to front, but I'm so used to it now that it doesn't really matter. So what I do is press the minus and it goes to zero. And typically, this is how I ride. I don't really use pedal assist mode at all. Um, I just find it very clunky on the gears and a bit, um, bit of a, I don't know, un, unfun way to ride. So anyway, I, I use throttle only. Um, and to get in throttle only, you need to use a programming cable and you need to connect that USB up to a laptop or a computer and um, change some programming to be able to unlock this motor so it can have no restrictions at all. So this is the programming cable you'll need to purchase. Um, basically the USB side plugs into your computer and then you need to find the corresponding uh, green cable that, that's in from these cables which comes from um, your controller. So Anyway, back to the, the display here for a minute. Um, so yeah, that's typically how I have the setup. Um, if, I, if I scroll through the power button on here, you'll see a few different settings come up. So it's got the time, it's got my odometer, saying I've done nearly 800 Ks. Um, it's got my average speed and it's got my max speed which is showing about 74 Ks. Now, I don't think this is, um, this is super accurate. I, I use my phone and my GPS to get um, accurate speeds. So I don't know how accurate this, because sometimes it's about 10 kilometers out um, from what it says on here to what it says on my Strava or uh, whatever app I'm using. Uh, and I think the app is pretty accurate as well. So um, yeah, I, I think that 73 is more about 80 k's an hour is probably my fastest which is pretty damn quick on a bike um, and look you're not going to be looking anywhere but straight ahead at that speed but look it's it's pretty amazing this bike I love it I love it for uh, commuting I love it for off-road um, you know it's it's got everything so you can change these pedal assist modes uh, however you want so if I toggle through I've got nine different pedal assist modes. So what that means is, uh, as I pedal, number one is gonna give me just a little bit of help. Number two, a bit more. Three, a bit more. And then all the way up to nine, which gives you probably, I'd say about 60% of the power of, um, of this motor in pedal assist nine. So you're getting a fair bit of power and you're hardly pedaling at all. But I want more power, so you know I'm I'm going to run throttle only, which gives me 100% power all the time. So I can pedal as much as I want without any assistance. And when I want um, to give it a bit, I just give it a squirt on the throttle, and boom, you've got power. And I love it. It's it's amazing, guys. I just wanted to show you another feature of this um, motor. I don't really use this one um, because I never really have a need to be walking up a hill seeing this thing just gets up any hill. But there is a feature here if you want to get off your bike and walk up a hill 
Uh, I guess it'd be handy if you're in a, on a fire trail or something and there was a lot of loose rocks and you couldn't physically ride up it. Um, I haven't had that problem yet, but or if it was too wet, you could get off and what you do if the motor's on, you just hold down the um, you just hold down I think it's this one or the minus yeah the minus on here. I'll just zoom in there. Just hold down that and it will go into what's called the uh, P will come up here and it's in walking mode and it just um, very very slowly pushes the motor so you can um, walk without having to push the bike so yeah look it's it's a pretty handy feature don't really use it but um, just wanted to show you guys that one just thought I'd show you another video of the display lit up just in case you want to see it so hold the power down up it comes it goes off then you just hold the minus down shows up again then that will stay on for you um, for nighttime riding. It's a pretty nice little display. Um, I think there's a newer version out now, but to be honest, um, this one does everything I need, so I'm happy with it. Okay, we're just gonna go for a cruise. Just in a low gear at the moment. Oh, it's got some power. Once we get on an open road up here, and we can sort of unleash it a bit. Oh, this thing's awesome. Okay, so I'm just cruising. I'm in a low gear. Let's put it in a higher gear. And see how we go down this hill. So yeah, no problem at all hitting 55, 60 k's an hour. Um, honestly, this thing's awesome. I love it. Just so good to ride. Just to do a roundup of the BBS HD on my mountain bike here. It's a fantastic motor. If you want to bring some life into your old mountain bike, go ahead, upgrade it. Get a, um, there's a BBS 02, which is the old one. This is a BBS HD, which is the 1000 watt compared to the 750 watt. Um, I think this one's stronger, better. For the price upgrade, I think it's worth it. Um, I've got a 14 amp hour battery, which is 48 volt to run this. Um, you can get a bag battery, which fits in that whole frame. Um, and look, if you want to get more range and it's permanently going to be on there, great for touring or something. Um, but I just wanted portability, wanted to be able to have it a little bit lighter. Um, so I've gone with the, the portable one, which is lockable. Whereas the bag isn't really lockable, it just has Velcro straps on it. Um, yeah, look, I think you can't really go wrong with this this motor. It's been really good. Uh, and you can just turn it off at the end of the day and ride it as a normal bike if you want. Um, yeah, look, it's a bit heavier. It's probably um, gone from about 12 kilos to added another maybe uh, 8. So it's nearly probably 20 kilo bike, but the power that you have on it. You, you honestly don't notice it. Um, yeah, look, um, what else can I say? Okay guys, so that's my 
walk around and review of the Bafang BBS HD on my mountain bike. Um, leave any questions below. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll leave links below of where I purchased um, and who fitted the kit for me. Thanks for watching and I'll try and put some more videos of um, fresh anything soon.